Uh, thank you very much for having me at the IPFS uh, 0.5 launch meetup. Uh, before I begin, I would like to say... Congratulations. Hooray. I'll drink to that. There we go. Congratulations. And that's enough of that. Hmm. Now, I'd better confess that um, this is about the 12th take of this particular presentation, so the wine is going down rather well. Um, thank you for having me, though. It's great to be here. Um, my name is Peter. I'm Peter on the Block on Twitter, and I'm the tech lead for the HUT34 project. Uh, the HUT34 project, we're an agile data company startup building data tools, um, solving data problems, because data solves problems. A, a very brief word on the origins of our name. Uh, this is Bletchley Park, which during the Second World War was home to code breakers, including the great Alan Turing, trying to crack the Enigma code. Uh, this is Bletchley Park today, uh, and this is our office where we earnestly endeavour. Uh, Bletchley Park literally had huts. These are four of the huts, hut one, hut two, hut three and hut four. And we're an amalgam of huts three and four, hut 34. Uh, this is not, in fact, our office because we're lucky enough to be based uh, down here in Sydney, Australia. Our offices are just here in Manly, um, so something like 7,500 miles away from the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, so couldn't be there tonight, but I'm glad to be here in part. Now, I'm just going to do a brief presentation on uh, where IPFS fits into our stack, how excited we are, and um, you know the future, really. So what you're looking at here is a React front end of our sort of core product, which is a data hut. We set up huts. Huts contain rooms and they're places where users can come to exchange data. They can secure it, they can exchange it, they can track it, they can monetize it if they want to. Um, and you're looking at a front end and uh, with an app engine back end on Google Cloud. Um, so having logged in via OAuth, uh, what we'll see in a moment when I get in there is that the uh, the stack here, you've got a traditional serverless stack, um, but really the heart of it begins when we look at this Ethereum blockchain-based wallet. This is a website called Etherscan. Many of you may be familiar with it. This is just a block explorer showing me what's going on. So a user has arrived. He's got access to this wallet. So here's an address that we control. I'm just going to copy that address because... Now, via the smart contract, um, when that user was first registered with us, we've logged on chain this. So our smart contract has some data which says uh, this identity is this address, this location hash. So here's an IPFS hash. This is where it begins. And IPFS is really the glue that binds those three things together. We've got the Google OAuth identity. We've got the Ethereum wallet with its private key. And we've got the IPFS hash containing various bits of data. This particular bit of data can only be updated, registered by this identity, by this address holder. And if we look at it, it's a base64 string uh, containing this information. It's an RSA key pair. Uh, there's a public key and there's an encrypted private key. That private key is encrypted using the private key of the Ethereum address that registered it. So we've got IPFS sitting there via this smart contract as the glue that binds the identity to an encryption key pair. And there it is. So now let's do some data exchange. What do we do with this? So now that I'm logged in, I can uh, I may be an enterprise user, I may be a hobbyist, I may be a data scientist, but I can use this UX to just browse around some data and I'm interested in alcohol consumption so I'm going to acquire this data set and you can see now that it's retrieving the blockchain details uh, and it's signing the value object we use a protocol called 0x 0x is a trustless value exchange uh, so the HUTX object which is the heart of our technical delivery contains meta data and value and it's just successfully exchanged. So now that I've got that data, I can come here and complete the full circle, and I can access my wallet once more. It's going to download the keys, it's going to download the encrypted data, and it's going to present the data to me in the client. So here we are. Uh, let's dive under the hood just a little bit and have a look at that HUTX exchange object, which again is part of the key. So here we've got the contract, and you can see that there's, a, there's the transaction that's literally just gone through being mined right now, but I'll look at the previous one. 
and we can see that the identity who completed that transaction has called a function called hutex complete, hutex transaction complete. And this transaction is another IPFS location hash. This location hash doesn't represent the identity, it represents the specific exchange of data. Uh, and if we look at that object again, it's a base64 encoded object which comes out to this. This is a HUDX object containing meta and data and value. Uh, and within the meta information, this is promoting interoperability. The model can contain schema information. This is all public information, this of course. So it, it contains the public information about the data exchanged, but the actual data itself uh, is presented via a further IPFS hash. So it tells me where can I get this data? And if I have access to it, here's the encrypted key. That encrypted key can only be decrypted by the identity of the person who completed the transaction. Uh, so look, that's a real whistle-stop tour. Um, we had users from academia doing research projects. Uh, we had a couple of teams investigating uh, dementia risk and assessing uh, autism as well as some autism assessments going on uh, collecting data and exchanging it via this protocol and uh, we have some corporate users uh, you can work with the protocol in you know directly within an excel workbook or within our studio or wherever you really want to um, that's our mission and at the heart of it is ipfs so uh, if you want to reach out to us it's peter on the block or hut 34 project otherwise just a big congratulations really really excited to see uh, the path to 1.0 um, and what happens next uh, i'd like to thank the infura guys who are out there we currently having experience of running our own nodes we're currently using infura's infrastructure um, so very keen to be part of the ecosystem, very excited for the 0.5 launch. Best wishes from seven and a half thousand miles away. Take care, guys. Congrats.